OK, we're at the Yorkshire Cricket Centre in Headingley. Uh, I'm here with Oliver Hannon dalby Yorkshire opening bowler. Um, and today we're going to be dealing with the slower ball, mastering it, trusting it, and the various uh, slower balls that are out there available to you. It's obviously used a lot these days. I think it's probably used a tad too much. Right. I think slow balls are most effective when it's a surprise, like any ball. It's when it's a surprise, that's when it's going to be most effective. I think if you bowl at a death and you bowled ten slow balls in a row, but I generally know what's going to be coming, so I try to use it as a surprise more than anything else. It's, it's quite good to see you bowled four dot balls in an over in a one-day game. But it's going to be looking to come hard at you. You know, he's going to be looking to hit a boundary. Hopefully, the last two balls. If you take your pace off, it's going to make it difficult for him. It'll protect your over somewhat. Your regulation slow balls are off cutter, which obviously you send your, your fingers down one side of the ball, take a lot of pace of it, and it cuts like an off spinner. If we run up with our fingers like an off spinner, batter's going to notice, isn't it? Yeah. So I want us to work on running up, like we said, with that style, pointing towards the slips, elbows tucked in, like Brett Lee, everything's going toward our action. We're going to gather normally, and then as we bring the ball down, I want you to change your grip into what's going to be best for an off cutter, okay? Yeah. Change your grip at the bottom, and as you come over the top, you'll play roll your wrist. For me, I find it easier to bowl an off cutter if I've got those three fingers on a ball like that. I'd, it might be different for you, okay? Yeah, okay. So what do you think? It'd be best to bowl an off cutter with. If you, if I said you uh, bowl an off spinner I now, two fingers, do it like that, okay? Yeah, yeah. So when you're running up normal, yeah. and then as you go down, change two fingers, okay? Yeah, okay. Think you can do that? Yeah. On the on the down stroke, so normal. Then once you get to the bottom, you want to be off spin. Leg cutter, which is probably a bit more difficult than the off cutter. Obviously, your fingers go down the opposite side of the ball and cut like a leg spinner almost. Uh, split your fingers one, where mm -hmm. obviously your, your fingers and your energy you provide from your arm goes down the side of the ball so it doesn't come up with quite as much pace, but you keep the same action where as the other two, the, t the cutters, you might ch that I might see that you've cut your fingers outside at ball, whereas that you maintain the same action. You can, if you practice it, I know that Rich Pyra for Rose has mastered it. Right. If you run up with the ball in a certain position, and if you get into your gather, you can then split your fingers on the way down which is obviously going to make it a lot more surprising. There is, like I say, situations where you can gather here and on the way down, you can have your fingers split and then, like I say, energy is going to go sign the ball down the side of each ball. The best slow ball I've seen is the back of the hand one, which mm -hmm. is obviously you gather with the ball in regulation position, regulation action, but on the way back, it obviously comes outside of the back of your hand than the front of your hand, which is the best one I've seen, but mm -hmm. obviously hardest to master. Yeah. yeah. Have, have you got anywhere near I'm it still? I'm still working on it. Right. <laughs> the, kit, the trick is, if you get any, any error up here, it's obviously magnified tenfold down the other end. And the, the beauty of it, the, the pace of your action itself doesn't change? No, not at all. Even if anything, you've probably got to bring your arm over quicker to because it loses so much pace coming out of the back of your hand and you've got to get, try to get it so full that it obviously deceives about uh, that way your arm's coming over a little, if anything probably a little bit quicker then you get your dip on it and obviously like, like I said seam, seam comes up nice and straight so he's going to deceive him with a bit of pace, lack of pace we're going to have a, a little go at the back of the hand one now like I said it's the most difficult one key being want your arm still to come straight over the top if we fall away a little bit come round side it's going to be more of a like leg spinner or if come too far over the top it's going to could go anywhere so you to maintain your action nice high action keep your head up keep your arm straight over the top okay and really finish off and follow through because otherwise it'll be too slow and flop out and end up rolling up floor and bounce a few times so nice straight over the top and follow through really nicely really finish off your action